So we actually have received now some news towards Stalker 2. Some new details and information that are pretty important for the big Stalker fan. Of course, we know Stalker 2 is coming next year. So far that we know, at least because of course the war is going on right now in Ukraine. But let's go over these new spicy Stalker 2 details. So sit back, relax, enjoy, take a beverage and let's get on with the news. So today we have some exciting new Stalker details to go over from a new interview that's done with a Chinese website. I have never heard of this website whatsoever, but they provided a whole interview, an article with information towards Stalker 2. And there is some pretty juicy stuff in here like a performance mode that you want to know of and of course some more details towards the game by the way let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are hyped for stalker 2 if you have a good comment of your own i might feature you in the next video so let's get into these details idle sloth on twitter made a short perfect paragraph for me to summarize i will link the article down below though in the description down below if you want to see it for yourself but it is in chinese so yeah that, there is that maybe if you are fluent in it uh you can read it yourself xbox series x will offer two graphical modes and focus will be on 60 fps for the performance mode so that's pretty cool uh, most of the games now today come with two graphical options with a performance mode that plays at 60 fps and of course a graphical mode i don't think this is going to be as well optimized as, as let's say a spider-man 2 for playstation 5 where both graphical modes have ray tracing running so i guess if you want ray tracing it will probably be in the quality mode but that's what i think because i do think stalker 2 will be a heart beast to run i would rather play at a performance mode in my opinion so that's pretty cool more information on quality mode will be released later as the game is still being optimized unreal 5 gives us global lighting system that allows us to achieve more realistic day and night transitions and multiple weather environments so that's pretty cool i would like to see stormy thunder environments that would fit very well for a stalker game um i cannot wait that stuff is always pretty cool to see the main story takes about 40 hours that is actually pretty long for a shooter now i'm not a big stalker fan because i haven't really played these games this is going to be my first time i am a big fan of the metro games though i have played those so because of that i really want to see what stalker is all about and 40 hours is a very long time for a single player shooter story driven shooter game shall i say i don't mind i really want to see how they are going to fill 40 hours of story in this game i don't know if stalker 2 is open world it could it could be open world so that makes more sense uh, of it or if, if it is multi-hub spaced uh if there are side quests side content that type of stuff and the main storyline has four endings so that's also pretty cool uh side tasks will also have different results based on the player's choices and some side tasks will affect the main plot in some way okay that's good to know that's basically full-fledged rpg mechanics here in a shooter so that's pretty nice that sounds to me like a little bit like witcher 3 energy there uh, if you do a side quest uh, the main quest line can maybe be affected there will be auto and manual saves there is a stealth mode where you can use your knife to kill headshots are one shot kills and the final polish of the game will take a while it's hard to say how close we are actually to finishing the game okay so that's pretty interesting all these details uh, especially the last part the final polish of the game will take a while 
it's hard to say how close we are to actually finishing. So that's kind of weird though at the same time because this game had a 2023 release at first. But of course we have the war right now in Ukraine. It's probably difficult for these devs. I do know they have moved already to another country. So they should be able to work again. With this type of comment though, I might suspect that this game is still a little bit away if it is releasing next year, maybe it will be around the summer or even like the fall period of 2024 with these type of comments. But still, there is a lot of interesting stuff in here with a main story that's 40 hours long. That's pretty meaty. And also four endings. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys still hyped for Stalker 2. And there is supposed to be also a new Metro game in development from what I know. There haven't been many leaks towards that. But if I hear something, I will of course let you guys know because I also love the Metro games. I have played those last light, especially is one of my favorites. I will let you guys know in a next video if there's a rumor for it. There will be no comment of the day because I, I've already done one. I've already uploaded today, so there will be a dual upload. Uh, my other video is about Xbox, about Hellblade 2, how that got maybe leaked with a rating from the australian ratings board so if you guys are interested take a look at my channel if you want to view that video thank you guys for watching as always like this video if you like it subscribe to the channel if you want to see more gaming news leaks and rumors towards the biggest single player games uh anything towards stalker 2 and of course visit my social media in the description down below and i will see you guys in the next get Wrecked gaming news video Bye-bye.